Saturday, uh, the 12th of November, reading from the Gospel of Luke. Jesus taught his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. A widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it's true, I neither fear God nor respect any human being. Because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her. Lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? You know, the times in the gospel, <coughs> we, Jesus speaks in a hyperbole, exaggeration. For example, pluck your right out, eye out, your right hand cause your sin, cut it off. Certainly Jesus does not mean to pluck your eyes or to cut your hand off, right? And so I used to take this last, very last phrase, the verse we have in today's gospel, as a similar exaggeration. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? I'm telling myself, come on, Jesus. Of course you've got to find faith. I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not so sure. I don't think it's, it's really an exaggeration. Well, if he does find faith, would he recognize the faith? Because we seem to dismiss a lot of things that we don't like, disagree with, that we think more advanced. And we see the growing numbers we call the nuns, not N-U-N, but N-O-N-E-S, right? Especially among a young generation. And we fear who's going to fill these pews up. Because faith can, religion, faith can die in generation. If you don't pass it down, that's it. And so um, maybe Jesus was not exaggerating, and I get, I get a little bit frightened. So what does one do? Well, stick to your faith. So also I notice what bothers me. Um, this is appearance. I know many who, you know, were churchgoers, let's say. Not that's the only indication of faith, but it's a sign. And the children know. And so rather than that they're trying to, in a sense, converting their children, I think the children are converting their parents. They're the ones now who are losing faith. I see them dropping by the wayside. So just reinforce it that the young, their children or grandchildren say, see, we're right. They had no conviction. No, we got to stick to our faith no matter what happens. Keep believing, keep praying, keep trusting. God bless you.